those those exercises. That's what I do. That's why you see the little background. I'm at the gym now. But anyway, um, every night I read the word. Every night, don't miss a night. You know, because that's where I get my power and my knowledge. You know. So every night when, before I go to bed, you normally know, about 30 minutes before I go to sleep, um, all my customers, my credit customers, I pray for them. I pray for their credit because I understand that bondage, remember in Proverbs 27, 22 verse 7, it talks about the borrower is slave to the lender. Well, I'm, you know, I'm like the Moses, financial Moses. I want everybody to be free financially because I know how it is to be living check, below check, below check, below check. Every time you get paid, you broke. And I was in that mess for years, and I got tired of being in that mess until I understood and was, you know, told the truth about the system. So I'm like, well, I guess I'll share whatever I was. That's why God put me in this practice. Look at that. All right, so every night before I go to bed, I pray for my credit, my customers' credit. Hey, look, I'm working on their credit. God, Jesus, you got a freedom because I want them to be able to be a blessing to somebody else and be able to help somebody else financially. That's why I'm at. So every night I'm praying for people's credit to go up. And for some reason, all glory go to God, it works. Okay? Now, also, if you want to do this yourself, you can. Bottom line, with credit repair, it's about really putting good stuff on your credit, <clears throat> and we're going to talk about it in a second, and get the bad stuff off. If you do both of those, you're guaranteed to win. Okay? But what I do for my customers is on every letter that I write, and they and people ask me, what makes you different from all the credit repair companies? Well, I'm gonna pray for your credit. In Jesus' name, your credit score will go up. And on all the letters that I write, you know, you write these little silly letters to the credit system, credit bureaus. I put a scripture, Mark 11, 22, which says, you can move anything with Jesus. Have faith in Jesus. That's what it says. So all the letters I write have Mark 11, 22 on it, which talks about having faith in Jesus. So somehow, some way, that's glory to God, credit score goes up. It works. Okay? That's what makes me different from all other credit bureau companies. I put God on anything, put God on anything, you win all the time. 100% win. I love it. Give them glory. That's why I'm doing this stuff, to educate y'all. I've been blessed. God has blessed me to teach you. Let's get back to it. All right, so the credit system is just a dumb computer, but you just need to understand how the computer works. Okay. So when you have bad credit, this is what happens. You're sad, the credit system is sad, and say, oh, no, you ain't pay your bills on time. Okay, you didn't pay AT&T, so they sent you to collection. He didn't pay your medical bills or whatever it was. It's, it's pissed off, it's sad. Okay, well how do we get it happen? Well the first thing you need to understand is when you're dealing with the credit system, it's kind of like a, a pie. So, the biggest piece of the pie, we talked about 35%. Now, that's the best way of saying here. 35%. The biggest piece of the pie is payment history. Okay. Can you pay your bills on time? All right. So, bottom line, when you have car notes, credit cards, student loans, mortgages, all that stuff, if you pay that stuff late, the best way of saying it, it's like you're punching the stomach. You know how somebody punch you, it hurts for a minute, but as time goes on, you're okay? So if you pay your car note late, bam, you just got punched. Oh, my credit score dropped 20 points. Okay, bam, bam, you paid your car note two times late. Oh, it's gonna drop about 60 points. Now, my line, it's not the end of the world. You just need to pay on time. Get it caught up. That's how you fix that. I don't care. What credit repair company you go to, they can't take that off your credit. You was late. I'm sorry. That was your fault. You made a mistake. But, but in Jesus' name, <clears throat> in Jesus' name, pay on time. Get it caught up. All right. Just get it caught up. Get it caught up. 
bam, you okay, no more punching in the stomach, you fine. After about six months to a year, you're good. Hey, no big deal. We all right, we're good. Now, can you dispute that? Yes, you can. Now, here's my suggestion. I'm going to keep it real. If you lay once or twice, don't be asking for three times now. Three times, you almost in repo status. But once, that I know works 100% of the time, pretty much. If you just call up your mortgage company, call up the, the car loan company and say, hey, look, you know what? I'm sorry I was late. I, I made a mistake. Can you please take that up? take that off my credit as a courtesy nine times out of ten they'll do it they'll say oh, look no problem we love you I've done it I mean I traveled a lot a few years back I, I forgot to pay my car note called them up hey look you know I'm sorry I forgot um can you take it off my credit yeah no problem no problem at all you might still have to pay a little fee for being late with bottom line they'll help you out See, you need to know the truth. Remember, we quote scriptures, the truth will set you free in Jesus' name. All right, so you lay one time, maybe twice, call them up, ask them to take it off. They'll probably do it. Okay? Put a little faith on it. Pray. In Jesus' name, they're going to take these lights off my credit because I'm trying to get this house. That's where I work. And matter of fact, you want to take another level? Go get you some extra virgin oil. And then when you pick up the phone, anoint the phone, put a little oil on the phone, that's what you think. <laughs> oh Lord, that tastes like get you a little get you a little numb oil, anoint the phone. In Jesus' name, hey, can y'all take this lay off my credit in Jesus' name? Oh yeah, we'll take it off. What? You will? Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Or when you write your letters, if you decide to do this speak yourself, on the letters, sprinkle it with a little anoint oil. Oh Lord. Oh, I've done that too. You really got some bad stuff that you want off in Jesus' name. Put a little anoint oil on that letter. See what happens. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. See, credit repair companies, they ain't going to be doing that. They're not going to be anointing your letters. They're not going to be praying for your credit. But when you come to me, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. 100%. 100%. Woo, your credit score will go up in Jesus' name because you get knowledge and you get power. And you're getting the truth. Ain't nothing like that. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Let's get back to the pie chart because i got about 10 minutes left. Remember, you got a short attention span, so I can't talk for so long. But thank you, Jesus, for anointing me and giving me the opportunity because my name is Crabby Credit. My credit is bad, but I'm sure enough going to show you how to get your credit score up in Jesus' name because we're going to be free today. Oh boy. So, the system. 35%, let's put that on, on the system here. 35% of your credit score, and that's one of the highest part of the pie, biggest piece of pie. 35% of your credit score is your payment history. Can you pay your bill on time? So, let's clear it here, so to speak. First of all, if you have no credit, then that's worse than having bad credit because they don't know what to do with you. So the first thing that you need to do if you have no credit is go get some. Now, where can you go? That's the question I have. You know, we this lockdown, COVID stuff, that's what it is now. But depending on where you're at, where can you go to go get some credit? Well, depending on what state you're in, a lot of stuff can be done online. You can go to Regions, R-E-G-I-O-N-S, Regions Bank. Google it. Regions Bank. Most of the time they're down south. Southern states, they got a couple up north. Bottom line, you can go to Regions Bank. They do secure loans. The minimum is 250 bucks. They do secure loans for 250 dollars, and they do secure. Let me put this on here, loan. Then you can also do a secure credit card. Now, what does that mean? That means you got to give them the money first, and then they're going to give it back to you. That's how easy this is. It's literally free. I'm like, when I talk to people about doing this, I'm like, what's wrong with you? It's free. Go do it. You can go to Regions Bank, get a secure loan for 250 bucks. You open up a savings account, deposit. Now, my suggestion is deposit 300 bucks because the way they make their money, they're going to charge you five dollars a month for the account, which is cool. That's just business. I'll take it. Bottom line, as long as you keep it six months. Go get a secure loan 
And then, a couple days later, they'll call you up and say, you've been approved for the loan. Everybody, 100%, everybody's approved for the loan because you just borrowed from yourself. You just put the money in the account. That's it. That's easy. And then you can go get a secured credit card a week later. Once they approve you for the secured credit card, just take the money, put it back in the account, and then ask them for a secured credit card. Now, they could turn you down. The bottom line, at least if you got the loan, I ain't mad at you. That's a good start. Okay? That's guaranteed winning. Guaranteed. No ifs, ands, or buts. And the way the credit system works, so you'll know, like I said, it's a, stu a stupid computer. Every time you open up a new account, you get about 10 points. On average. So 10 points here, 10 points here. Now you might get a little bit more depending on what's on your credit report, but on average, because I've been doing this long enough, you're going to get about 10 points. So literally, if you did those two things, credit score and 30 is going to go up 20 points. Simple. Simple stuff. Okay? In Jesus' name, we can free. Now, we can't go through everything today because, like I said, you got a short attention span and I can't be talking to you all day long because I got that stuff to do. I gotta get to my workout, because I'm at the gym, working out today. And the next thing you can go to, the next place you can go to to go get some credit is um, Self Lender. I'll put this up here, selflender.com. They all over the, the United States. You can go anywhere, it's all done online. Go to selflender.com, and let me see if I can, I'm already zoomed. No, I can't zoom in. I'm already up. So go to selfmanager.com and they got different options. When it comes to secure loans, get the cheapest one. I think it's about five, six hundred bucks. I believe that's what it is. Get the cheapest one and just pay on time. And it's what it is is basically it's a forced savings account. It forces you to save money and it's basically a CD, certificate of deposit, for those who don't know what that is, certificate of deposit. Put your money in that account, and then you pay on it every month for a whole year, and then in one year you'll have the money back in the account. Okay? Like a four savings account. You just did those, you did those three. You remember you are averaging about 10 points per account. And within 30 days, your credit score goes up 30 points. That's guaranteed credit score increase. And all you did was just borrow from yourself. Anybody can do that, they wanted to. That's the good part. Remember, the strategy is if you're trying to fix your credit, and I'm running out of time here, crab your credit. We're going to get good credit today in Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, once you get those three scores guaranteed to go up, that works for anybody. The other part of this is getting the bad stuff off. That's the dispute part, which is what we'll talk about in the video. And going back to the dumb computer, the biggest, whoo, Lord, thank you, Jesus. The biggest pie is payment history. Can you pay your bills on time? The more times you do that, the higher your score goes. So, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching the video. And what time is it? We're trying to go all the way up because nothing can stop us. We're all the way up, baby.